represented in so very many ways. When we talk from the point of view of our office, we talk about token integral well-being of the human person. Here we've discussed, certainly from the point of view of the military, peace is, uh, it always takes the military dimension, which is conflict and the resolution of conflict. But that's not the only form of peace, okay? That's one dimension. When, when, when the well-being of people are challenged by the incidents of conflict, wars, and all of that, there's also no lack of peace when on the climate change people can have food. Temperatures change, the environment completely is disagreeable to people. That's also you know, the absence of peace. But most importantly, I think the big thing that we can take from this event, whose main subject was violence, conflict, and all of that, my thing is to draw attention. We've discussed a lot of things here. So very many suggestions about how to improve work. But the violence really is something that is not seen. It's not visible. If you had asked anybody to show a video of violence, you would have, you would have seen you know, people shooting and killing people. So that's people who are violent. But violence itself is something that takes over our hearts and minds and makes us you know, do the type of things we would not want to do. So at the end of the day, violence is a spiritual disposition within us which we all need to work on. Everybody can be violent, everybody can be angry, everybody whatever. So at the end of the day, let's not look at only that thing outside us, which is a manifestation of something that is more within each one of us. That's where violence is, and that's where we need to look at if we want to deal away with violence. And that requires a lot of education. That requires a lot of conviction, but most importantly, the development of virtue, brotherliness, accepting one another, understanding each other's point of view. That's how we cultivate a type of things which help us stay peaceful and not violent.